Now a push for local kids to get vaccinated against COVID-19. The health department hopes that more children between 5 and 11 years old will get the shot during the winter break from school. Dr. Akila Pope, interim medical executive director with the Duval County Health Department, is joining us now live via Zoom. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. So parents seem to still have a lot of questions and quite frankly, there is a lot of misinformation out there, particularly circling on, uh, you know, circulating online. So let's help bust a couple of the myths, if you don't mind, since there may sure. be a lot of parents who are still on the bubble. So first, parents seem to think that kids don't get seriously sick when they catch COVID. So getting them vaccinated is not worth the risk. That's a question that you're hearing a lot. How do you respond to that? Well, the benefits of getting the COVID-19 vaccine um, definitely outweighs any of the known and potential risk of contracting the actual COVID-19 virus. Not to mention the long, we hear all the time about long haulers and the fact that, that there can be children who catch COVID and they didn't have any symptoms, but then weeks later develop Miss C as an example, which is basically, you know, an enlargement of organs and the kids can get really sick. That's correct. Um, several kids can get sick, um, especially those that are unvaccinated, um, may potentially get um illnesses that are prolonged um, after the virus, such as the multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, um, and it can cause hospitalizations and even death. So the second myth is that you're hearing, is it safer for my child to build immunity by getting infected with COVID-19 than build immunity by getting the vaccine? Yes, we are hearing that as well. Um, we do not recommend exposing you, yourself or anyone else to the actual virus. Um, it is better to be vaccinated. Um, we do not want any kids to become very ill, miss school, and even miss other opportunities of learning and playtime with other children. Yeah, this, va this, this virus is not like chicken pox. Uh, you know, we used to hear that all the time, expose your child to chicken pox, and then, you know, they've been exposed. Not the same thing. So the vaccine, right. uh, something else that you're hearing is the vaccine is not safe for children, and we hear this consistently. Your response? The vaccine is safe for children. Um, there has been thorough evaluations uh, done by the Food and Drug Administration as well as the Center for Disease Control. The COVID-19 vaccines have and will continue to be the most intensely uh, uh, safely monitored vaccines in U.S. history. And I know that the health department has five locations where it offers the vaccines to children. Are you aware of whether or not local pharmacies are offering them to children since before the pandemic, pharmacies typically would not vaccinate children? Yes, um, the Florida Department of Health in Duval County has several locations um, around the town, um, along with pharmacies as well, and um, your local drugstores. So if you need locations, you can um, reach out to our department at 904-253-1420, or you can go on the website at www.duval.floridahealth.gov and that can give you some locations. Dr. Pope, thank you very much for your time this morning. We will certainly post that on newsforjax.com later this morning as well.